Hi guys, we again with Fiona and she just popped in for a rebalance so we are going to do her nails and I already started doing some things so it is just going to be uh, much uh, quicker and not as uh, boring for you. So I will be using my e-file which is K38 and I will remove first the bulk of the product, like not the bulk, like get them ready for a rebalance. So she can have come back with the set and you can see the set on the channel as well. And what I'm going to do is I will just file that. So I'm just removing the color which is on the nails and I don't need to remove any product which is intact, like which is no lifting. And I've got very little lifting here in this corner, so I'm just touching it up and then move into another nail. And just remove the dust. So I'm just removing the dust to see what's going on and then my next step would be to shape those nails. So I will be using the file nice and straight, nice and straight, shape up the free edge. And then blend any product which is on there with the natural nail. So I'm just filing it. Also you can check the length as well like comparing the length of the nails to make sure they are all the same. And I always also remove the bulk of the product from the free edge because you don't want your free edge to be too thick. Each time when we're shortening the nail, uh, it becomes thicker at the end. And then I'm doing the same on this nail. So I'm just blending the natural nail and then shaping the free edge. And after I have done this step, I can go back to my ill file and I can do a little bit of the cuticle work. I don't want to do overly too much of the cuticle work, uh, just because we have to do more filing and uh, this is not good. Yeah, Fiona is showing me where I put the bead because I have to uh, change the things a little bit in here because I am just put the camera over the drawer where I keep my e-file and this is actually really handy because it is portable one I don't need to uh, keep it on my desk so it's protected from the dust so I'm working on the one side first again one, one side first and then I put it back to the reverse and I'm going to file on the other side so if you see, I'm just really removing the cuticle from the nail plate. I'm not filing overly on the nail folds. And then remove the dust. Check again for any kind of missing places, like look for any shine. And I can see I've got still a tiny bit more lifting in here. And the best way to get rid of the lifting is don't file on the lifting, just file a little bit below. Uh, so the lifting is not going to move. And this way I get rid of it. So but this is a good control. You can take it if you, yeah. Yeah, Fiona just got the phone call, so we say, yeah, you can take it. They are important messages going on the now and all this craziness. Like, my daughter asked me as well, can she go to the boyfriend? And I'm just like, I don't know what to do. Because one side of me wants to let her go, and then second side says, like, are you stupid? <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I'm dehydrating the nails with the blue scrub, and that's a nail dehyd dehydrator. 
and then I'm going to apply an extra dehydrator on it as well and an universal air bond and then we can move on into the gel application so the universal air bond and then we can move into the gel application and again I will show you on those two nails and then I will do the rest of my own So I'm working with the fiber gel and a share rose color and I'm applying just a nice and thin layer like a nail polish nice and thin layer and then also capping, uh, capping the free edge as well so nice and thin layer like a nail polish cap the free edge pop it into the lamp and here uh, this one is a good nail because she broke one so we can do a fresh sculpting so I'm just preparing the natural nail remove the dust and then apply the nail form so that's the nail form I'm just pulling it here I've got also detailed uh, tutorial how to apply the nail forms as well and then I'm just hiding the client view so she doesn't help me too much and I'm Popping in the form on the snail. Check the side view. And then we need to dehydrate. I will also do it on those snails as well. And apply extra dehydrator on all of them. So I will show you how to do it. And this way you're also working all the time on the client because one hand is curing and then once it's cured I can swap. I have to wait for this extra dehydrator to dry out a little bit on here. And then I can apply it only on the natural nail. Again, picking up the scoop of the fiber gel and apply on the nails which are already dry. I'm touching it with my nail. Uh, you can also see I have removed my nails and I'm going to do some sculpting um, You have requested some Russian almond, so I will be doing a Russian almond as well um, And lots of other tutorials uh, just to keep you busy and take your minds away from the situation which is going on So Nice and thin layer like a nail polish And then on the one which we are going to sculpt I'm just just applying nice and thin layer like a nail polish and then I'm starting shaping my free edge so that's my free edge checking the length and if it's ready we can swap the hands I'm actually going to do that on this hand as well quickly so nice now that's a second layer I'm going to build in so I'm applying a nice and thin layer again and applying this thin layer let me um, kind of get a better movement of my product so nice and thin layer and now I'm going to pick up the scoop of the product so I have to pick up the scope of the product on the one side of the brush and I'm just going to fill up the gap which is missed so I don't need to fill up all the nail because we've got lots of product left I'm just filling up those missing places and then brush away any excess of the product to smooth it out I can also show you the side view maybe this way just so you can see the apex as well and then we are doing the same so building up my apex mm -hmm. filling up the empty space and then I can just brush away the excess of the product mm -hmm. capping the free edge the gel still doesn't run so I've got the time to put a nice and thin layer of the product on those nails and also when we are applying such a thin layer you can see change you can see I'm pressing pretty hard on the nail so I'm really rubbing the uh, gel into the natural nail uh, so this way it sticks and better and now I've got uh, this nail here ready so I'm just 
doing the same step which is nice and thin layer all over and then I'm building up my apex because I have no product in here I have to pick up a little bit more one side other side one side other side and also you can see I'm just directing the needle a little bit down the way and so the gravity helps me as well then check the side view so I'm just missing a little bit of the product in the corners in those joint places and you have to make sure they are not catchy because that could be a breaking point and then swap the hands you can play with it in and out if it gets hot so warn your clients if you're working like uh, usually the gel gets hot like um, if we're working the clearer the product is the quicker it cures and also the thicker layer we have to apply the more the clients are going to feel it as well uh, so I'm not uh, doing overly too thick layers and then I can apply gel on this hand actually I think it's the first time when you see me swapping the hands so I'm constantly like there's never time when I'm not working I'm, when the client comes in for an appointment and I'm doing the infill um, rebalance or a new set I'm kind of swapping the hands all the time so I have no breaks constantly I'm doing something and I'm plan planning it ahead um, like to make sure I'm not losing the time because this is a really big time saver change your hands and then the same in here so nice and thin layer nice and thin layer nice and thin layer apply the scope of the product Yesterday was the last day at school, mm -hmm. and we had a live performance there. And then do the and same on the other knee. Just, you know, today you're going to be a live performance. I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, I don't know lyrics as well. I was like, oh. Jesus, that was so funny. But, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Change. This is so weird. Probably you guys never seen me with out of needles. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm, I'm just need to keep them clean so like and ready for some recording for you as well. Change the hands. I didn't apply any product, but I needed to freeze those needles so the product doesn't run. And I've got one more here uh, to do it. So nice and thin layer, then build up my apex just so it is going to fill up this needle and then brush away any excess of the product we've got and then change the hands so this hand is completely ready and i can just remove the inhibition layer from this needles and start shaping and i will show you just on the one needle how i file then do the rest on my own and i will come back to you with the design so i'll pick up this needle so nice and straight nice and straight shape up the free edge so basically i'm just uh, completing the same steps i did it uh, before then blend everything around the cuticle area just so there is nothing to catch uh, this way the extensions are always lasting much better and then remove the bulk of the product which is at the free edge so that's my shaping techniques and i kind of do it all the time the same way so first of all the needles are much more uniform and they all the same and um, it's pretty quick and fast effective way of filing the needles then i can remove the dust go with the buffer and just buff and smooth out any surface so i'm just buffing it nice all the surface once it's buff I can tidy up the cuticles so that will be the stage when I'm tidying up the cuticles because we're still going to apply the gel polish so the gel was applied pretty uh, close to the cuticle and you can't see the joining point like so I can apply the gel polish uh, really nice in there so I'm just really removing the uh, unnecessary raggy bits and pieces so nothing overly too strong and then that's will be my needle ready for a painting. So I'm just going to do it on all of them and then I come back to you. Okay, so that's us back and the needles are all filed. And I'm just going to dehydrate them, like clean them with the blue scrub again and then we can start painting them. I will also ask Fiona to 
help me and keep the hands just like in those kind of place like don't move them um yeah so the colors we are going to use will be two colors and they kind of brownish and we are going to do the louis vuitton nail design so on the pinky i'm just going to apply the nail pol the gel polish it's a really nice color and it has a wee shimmer through it so i'm going to apply it on this nail and on this nail And then give it a cure and then do the exactly the same on this hand <coughs> and the middle finger change and then on the middle finger as well And then on these two nails we will do some beautiful designs and I will use some gold uh, transfer foil for it as well and we will do some letters and the logo. Brilliant, change. Now this nail I want to paint it halfway. So I'm just applying the gel polish on a half nail. I'm not bothered too much about this join line here to now. Because we will do some mm, foil design there here as well. And also the darker color, that's where I will concentrate on keeping the lines nice and neat. So painting it at the angle and then the other color <laughs> and now just pick up the brush to get into those places here blend that in so to blend that in I'm just cleaning any excess of the product from my brush and I'm just start blending it in And do the same on this one. So I find that this is the easiest way to blend two colors for me with the gel polish because uh, normally the hard gel is much uh, better, it's highly pigmented so we get a really nice coverage even after one layer but that's those two nails uh, blended and I can change the hands. Okay, and I will show you on this two nails again what I'm doing to blend that out. So I'm just applying. You want to remove the 
yeah. a gel polish in. Actually, we will go opposite way here, so I'm applying nice and close to the cuticle and then going at the angle. Apply the second color. Then clean my brush and start blending that out. So the first blend is never like as nice. Um, usually uh, you get best results with the two layers. Change. And I can show you that here now. So this is going to be a second layer. So I have applied the first layer, now applying the second one and now I can start blending. So cleaning my brush again and then start blending that. And the longer, mm, the more we move the brush, the better blends we will get. Okay, so I've got them changed. Lots of lots of lots of movement. Okay, and we can change the hands. So I'm just going to apply the top coat on all of them so we can do those gold design. And then give them a cure and bath the nails which we need for the design. Okay, so just apply the top coat, give it a cure and then bath all of them and then I come back to you again okay so I already done the design and you can actually I can show you oh this one yeah so I have painted this one now I need to quickly transfer the foil so uh, it was black now it's gold and I show you how to achieve this look to create those kind of set I think they're nice and classy so swap your hands yep and we'll be using the foil design gel, so I have just buffed those nails and now I show you how I paint this design. For painting with the gel I prefer the Michael Styler number 4-0 brush uh, for 
painting the neo art I prefer with the acrylic paints I prefer the other fine liner brush so on this one we are going to go for a logo how you call this part like how how you call this design type um, no but um, this this one will be logo and this one will be logo as well yeah so just paint the logo I'm starting with the rounded part just in the middle so I can keep this empty space and I'm just painting like a wee petals and then make them thicker so they change the shape and they are not as pointy and same in here when working with the foil design gel you have to be really nice and uh, smooth with the application you want the same kind of level of the product all over just so it sticks in nice I think it will be nice to add something else maybe in this corner so just the same empty space And then just paint. And then the last one, just right on the top. You can also get the request, guys, coming down in the comments uh, below. As I say, like as much time I will have, I will try to spend it all on the recording, just to keep you busy and keep your minds away from all the situation which is going on. we do but it's kind of more like moving the appointments forward yeah. so the so client so uh, yes yeah, so we get lots of cancellation for like the future appointments because no one knows what the future yeah. will bring as well yeah I had the question from a um, client here like if we get cancellation I bet you get lots of cancellations guys too yeah. uh, we just have to survive we will manage we will manage yes. You know, we can come in, do the painting, make yes. the salon nice and pretty yes. um, after like everything is over. And then on this ones, I need to... On this one, I need to paint the letters. Sorry, I just have to get the Gnia to pick up the phone. And the letter goes uh, okay. a little bit at the angle. So I'm just applying it at the angle. Okay, so that's the easiest way to start painting this letter. And then we have to put the V. And And then that's the Louis Vuitton design finished. So I have to give it a cure. I put you also on cold out on hold as well. How can I help you? Yes, we do. Yeah. Yeah, sure. No problem. No problem. Thank you. Bye. So yeah, we also got a phone call from the medical center about the face mask. So I think we are not going to need the face mask for the dust. And yeah, we just give them to them. But let's go back to the design. So I have finished painting it and now we have to cure it. It has to be a 30 second slow cure for the foil to stick in. This is actually start getting like more serious, I think. 
so yeah guys if you've got some spare gloves and spare, spare face masks i think it will be nice to donate them to the hospitals because those guys are definitely going to need it a lot of it i'm cleaning the back of the foil with the blue scrub just to make sure there is no dust and a dirt on it and then swapping the hands so slow cure settings 30 seconds And on this one, I'm just putting a top coat on. Yes. Couple more seconds cure, and then we can swap the hands. Change. Okay. Now the file goes in between the fingers, and then I can transfer the design. And just do the same on this ones. You might be better doing one at the time, especially the ones which are in the corners, because that's the ones which are the hardest to transfer the foil. I'm just searching for any so I've got just tiny bit more to the corner watch for like applying the product too close to the corners because it's really hard to get with this foil in and then if I have transferred the foil somewhere else on those places then I'm just going to clean it apply the top coat and then that's our design finished so I will show you the full results what we have created today and I hope you have enjoyed watching this tutorial and that's something new what you could learn just so when everything is over we can all go back to normal okay at the end of the series piece I'm just cleaning the hands and I'm just going to show you the final look. Thanks guys for watching and bye now, stay safe and glittery hugs, bye!